Right then, mussels. These are frozen, and as you can see, they're pretty squidgy. Now, normally I'd just thread these onto the hook if they were fresh, because they'd be a little bit tougher, and whip them up with bait elastic. But in recent years, I've been using this stuff. It's called Armour Mesh from Fox. And it was originally designed for carp anglers fishing over in France. And uh, as you can see, there's a little plunger here and a little tube. And this stuff, which is just a fine mesh sack basically, what you can do is with all your squeezy baits, you don't just have to use this with mussels, you can use it with uh, mashed up crab, you can have lugworm in there, you can have ragworm in there. And uh, a lot of the guys up on the North East Coast who have been using cart, the old crab bait, they've been using this to quite good effect. So you can just stuff a load of bits of muscle in there like that. See that one's all falling to bits, and then we're going to get that on a hook. Chuck all that in there. Down with the plunger. And there you go. Out the bottom comes your little sack of goodness. A couple of turns like that. Tight in a knot. You can see all the juice coming out of there already. There you go. Cut that off with a pair of scissors. Now that's not going to come undone. Look at that, that's absolutely brilliant. All you've got to do, get your hook, just nick your hook through the top of the sack like that. That's not going to come off because of the barb on the hook. Just cast it out like that. That's an absolutely brilliant way of uh, presenting really soft baits, especially when they've been frozen. Um, like I say, fox armour mesh, it's great stuff. If you can't get fox armour mesh, then just nip along to your local chemist. Because uh, finger bandage is exactly the same, probably a bit cheaper, and it does the same job. Here's another presentation that you can use with mussels. Nip along to your friendly fast food restaurant and uh, pinch yourself a few straws. They're quite good because they're larger diameter than the normal straws you buy in the shop. And that I'll show you why you need that in a minute. Quite simple, I mean these are really squidgy and soft. What you want to do is just thread them onto the straw, like so. I mean it does make a hell of a mess. This is the sort of thing that you, you can prepare loads of baits like this. If you sit there and thread all these all the way along that, that piece of straw, like that, and then whip them on with bait elastic, so they sit nicely on the straw. There we go. Look at all that juice coming out. How's a fish not going to eat that, eh? Right. There you go. That's just one bait I've just done there. But if you thread that whole straw up, what you want to do then is wrap it in a bit of cling film and freeze it. Then, if you imagine this is now frozen, what you want to do when you go fishing is you take one of these sticks out at a time, pair of scissors, chop your bait up to whatever size you want it. So you've basically got a load of muscle whipped onto a bit of straw. Now you're going to present that. Well, here I've got a hook snood. You fish a, a normal sort of paternoster rig with a swivel that's fixed with, with crimps. And then what I use, which I use these a lot for my lure fishing, uh, the breakaway mini links. I'll tie that to the end of my snood and then literally just push it through the centre of the straw. And it comes the other end. Then you pull that up and on the bottom I've got a 5-0 hook. And there we go. <laughs> Look at that. How simple is that? And it just sits. Loads of hook points showing. Cast that out. Bass love it. Cod love it especially. Then what you do, just simply clip that mini link onto the swivel on your trace. It's just a quick quick change basically. You can make loads of these up, cast out, reel it in if you've got a fish on. If you haven't, just reel in for a bait change, unclip it, clip another one on. Really, really simple. 